Now, a very important thing. If you get offered a, 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 an allergy test from the vet, make sure that allergy test is a blood one, is a blood allergy sample that you get, a blood allergy test. They're about a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars or close to anyway. Because if you get a hair one, hair sample, it's you might as well be flushing your money down the toilet because they do not work. The blood one is a lot more akin to the one we would rely on with, with babies, for example, it, with humans or in, in us humans. But the reactivity of the hair sample one is not going to be is not going to be the same. And even with the blood allergy test, there are going to be allergens that aren't going to get triggered because your dog for example has never eaten um you know elk for example or kangaroo so how do you know the dog the, the dog is allergic to kangaroo you might not be able to know a hundred percent so it's still going to be a trial and error